Hi everyone, welcome back. You're still with us here on the Sea Morning Show. And as we know, fashion is all about creativity, innovation, and breaking the bowl mold. And our guest today will embody all of that and more. They have made waves in the fashion industry with their signature designs and bold visions since a very young age. They have in fact participated at this year's New York Indonesia Fashion Week, which took place earlier this month. And quite interestingly, they use Indonesian fabrics in their collections. So, without further ado, let's now welcome our young fashion designers. We have Michelle and Catherine Liu joining us this morning. Good morning, girls. Uh, good morning. Welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, you're 15? Yeah. And you are? 11. 11 years old. And you guys have already um, kind of broken through to in the New York Indonesian Fashion Week. So I want to ask you, what? when did you first get interested in fashion? At what age? Uh, in when I was 12 years old. 12 years old. And you? Uh, when I was 9 years old. So what got you interested? You, you just like clothes and you, you like drawing? What was it that made you like design? When... When the pandemic, I love to draw and my mother took me to the design course and I think I really love it. Okay, so this started during the pandemic. You have a lot of time and you just started drawing. Uh, yes. Were you always good at drawing when you were little? Uh, no. No? But Really? Yes. I'm surprised. So you learn along the way? Yes. In fact, you have some of your drawings there with you right now. Could you uh, show, like flip it and show it to the camera? So these are some of the designs that are hand, these are all hand drawn by you guys. Yes. Wow, that is amazing. Show us some of the other ones as well. That is amazing. I can't even draw like stick figures, by the way, and they're drawing uh, dresses on designs. So, you know, since you've, do, you've done this for a couple of years now, who are some of your favorite uh, designers? My favorite designer is Miss Anna Avanti because she loves to make a wastra cloth and I really love it. I know uh, uh, Bunda, we call her Bunda Anna and uh, when I uh, make a road trip to Semarang, we visit her restaurant and she has all of her bags and her design. Do you have a favorite designer? Uh, yes. Uh, my sister Michelle. Same? Oh, that's really nice. Okay, so let's, uh, you want to take us, uh, let's take a look at some of these designs here. Tell us a little bit about this. So, you design the clothes by drawing, and then they're created into these using, um, that you have actual uh, seamstresses to make the dresses. Yes. Okay, so tell us about a little bit about this design. Who designed, which, do you guys all design separately? Uh, this yeah. one is mine and that one is mine. Oh, these ones are yours. Okay, let's talk about this first because they do look a little bit different. Okay. So tell us a little bit about what are some of the designs that you have here. The theme is Eternal Splendor and I was inspired by the oldest city in Indonesia. It was a Palembang and I used a songket cloth because songket cloth is not just a beautiful songket but it has a meaning uh, glory. Okay. And the color I choose lavender, gold and orange. Okay. And the fabric I choose songket cloth. Tafeta Bridal and Crystal Tila. Why do you choose a gold, orange, and uh, lavender? Because I love the color soft. It's yours. It's your favorite colors as well. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at yours. Now, yours is a little bit different. If I look at the designs, you have like bolder lines. You have these kind of patterns. Tell me a little bit about uh, yes. it. This is my first design. I wear a Balinese round round fabric. Oh, nice. Yeah. And I use glitter fabric too in the hand and in the neck. And I use some accessories that is necklace. So extravagant, like they're all really bright and glittery. I love this, it's very colorful by the way. Are they, which is your favorite color? Uh, this one. Oh, it's very nice. Awesome, okay. Let's take a seat because I have a surprise for you guys. Let's uh, sit down over there. And because we're gonna bring on Shafira, my colleague, who is actually wearing one of your designs. Let's take a look. Hey, Shafira, look at you. Hello, ladies. Hi, everyone. Okay, do, do a little like turn around so you can show the whole like design. Oh, look Whoa, at that. Here, like you could be a model. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. So this one is this one is Catherine's design. Yes. Right. This okay. is made by me. Yeah. You are. Okay. I can tell by the. I mean, they have a distinct pattern here in the. Front. Oh, right? oh. You can tell. Wow. These are all you learn a lot then. I have been. You are using the tenun. Uh, no. This one this is, is? Uh, Balinese round round fabric. Oh, from Balinese. So basically, you are like mixing the style. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. So, who is your biggest inspirations while you are draw your design? Anna Avanti. Oh, really? I already asked. <laughs> really? Yeah. Why? Why you Why you love Anna Avanti? Because she loves to use Wastra and yes, and uh, Wastra clothing. Yeah. Oh. It is, and she's still like, she, like she, if you, I told you, right? My wife and I, we go to her restaurant. Yeah, I was about to say that. And we always that. buy something when we're there because all the, she she has a little boutique. Yeah, there. and yeah, she's yeah, very, yeah. she still comes up to people. Yes. and she's like talks to you. So yes. very cool. So you guys participated in a New York Indonesian Fashion Week. So I asked you earlier. Can you explain to our viewers how you got invited? We got a recommendation from our senior uh, band, and then. He introduced me and her to the founder New York in New York Indonesia Fashion Week is Miss Fanny. Okay. Oh, okay. And then we take a part in it and approve. Mm -hmm. And how is your experience um, joining to the big one of the big fashion event uh, in the world? Our experience is so happy and proud. Mm -hmm. Were you nervous? Uh, yes. <laughs> you must have been. Were you the youngest designers there? Uh, yeah. I would say so, right? I don't know, like an 11 and 15 year old. Like, yeah. I don't think there's other designers that young. Exactly. So how do you see um, your designs showcase in international fashion stage? And what are their response? Is mm -hmm. there anyone who approach you and then, hey, congratulations, I like your stuff and things. Uh, what what can I uh, can I purchase it something like that? The audience response is very good and say our work is so amazing too. <laughs> <laughs> so, amazing, right? so um, what do you, do you uh, sell these clothes or do you just design them for showcases? We are collected it. The collected. Oh okay. Because yeah, right. I'm sure people are asking like where. Can yeah, I, it, right? I want I want to have the items. Are you guys still <laughs> selling it? Uh, no. Oh, okay. only to collect yeah. it. Okay. It's okay. Down the road. Yeah. They're building, Wait. They're hold building on. their portfolio. Exactly. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, who are some of the? What are some of the most uh, memorable experiences for you when you went to New York Indonesian Fashion Week? Did you meet somebody that mm -hmm. you looked up to? Or what's something that you remember the most? We'll start with you first. The memorable is when Miss Fanny is speech and talk about she love Indonesia and. Oh, that was so amazing. It's amazing, right? When you hear yeah. your own country, you feel really proud, right? Yeah. Right. How about you, uh, Catherine? Do you have a... Uh, no? When uh, day one, we going to the embassy and we uh, take a part and we uh, become a welcoming designer and Mrs. Puti Sukarno attended to there. Wow! So you were, you, went, you were invited to the Indonesian embassy at the time? Yeah. Right? Wow, so you, they make you a welcoming party or something? Yeah. With the red carpet, no? <laughs> <laughs> it they, feels like, you know, make it grande. Yes. They've they done more at 15 and 11 than I have at 40. 15, <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure, yeah, I've never even done that as <laughs> exactly. well. Exactly. Mm. So, is there any like a memorable highlights or moments that uh, what they ask you about your designs and the journey until Michelle and uh, Catherine become a uh, young designers. Uh, the memorable is when Mrs. Putty is attended. Oh, okay. Nice. And I know that uh, be becoming a fashion designer, especially in the fashion industry, is not easy, right? Yeah. You guys are learning uh, together since since the pandemic, yes. right? Yeah. And then you started at the uh, since the pandemic. What kind of challenge that you face uh, during the process until? You to become a dynamic duo like this. The Leo <laughs> sisters. Ah. The Leo right. sisters. Right. <laughs> the challenge is to divide the time well with uh, the school and the design course. Mm -hmm. How do you guys maintain yeah, it? How do you manage your time? So you guys off school today? Teachers. <laughs> they, they, they got permission. I asked. Leave the kids alone. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you guys manage the time? Uh, yeah, on a normal day, we go to school, but uh, at the Saturday, we go to the design course. Okay, oh. weekends. I want to ask about mom and dad. Mm. How have my mom and dad been throughout this process? Mm. Because I have a nine-year-old. If she tells me I want to be a designer, I wouldn't know how, where to start, how to support. How, yeah. is, how has mom and dad been uh, throughout this process? Uh, our mom and dad is just support us. Oh, that's really nice. Wow. 
So they're the ones that actually encourage you to do this design course yes. and everything. Wow. See, there you go. Parent support is everything. Yeah, that's the, the, the most important thing. Paul, uh, he support uh, his daughter so much. He loves to dance. She loves to dance. Yes. And then you bring her to I the lessons. Take her to her dance, her gymnastics, her piano. Yes. Yeah. And who knows that uh, one day your daughter will be representing the country. Maybe. That's the goal, right? At an right? embassy. Yes. Together with the Liu sisters. <laughs> Liu sisters. <laughs> Absolutely. Michelle and Catherine. Um, so where do you go from here? Oh. I mean, you've done New York Indonesian Fashion Week. Obviously, you're going to continue. Are you going to continue to? Do you have something else in mind that you wish to have? Yes, I wish I can bring the Song Pet Club to the international event. Yeah, another international event. Yeah. I mean, these international events are not just taking place in the United States. There's yeah. in Europe, Paris. Yeah. You have any particular uh, country that you want to bring your uh, design? Mm. Uh, yes, I think I want to go to the London. London! London. Yeah, nice. What about you? Um, so I want to go to the one. <laughs> okay. She follows the sisters. <laughs> They're very compact together. Yeah, That's why they work well dynamic together. Dynamic duo. Um, I, I would like to also ask you, outside of the Fashion Week events, what was your most memorable thing from the trip to New York? Yeah. Did you have any like awesome food? What was some of the one fun thing that you remember doing? The fun thing is when we go to the to the street and, yeah. um, and see the food is yeah. like all the street oh. foods. Of course. Are you guys are you guys a food kind of uh, traveler? Uh, yeah. Since you guys live in Bandung, there's a lot of yes. food there. We go to Bandung for their <laughs> Probably food. Probably that's the inspiration. <laughs> Have you guys met like a celebrity there? Um, I don't. Um, no, I think. No. No. Yeah, because they're all like it. They are celebrities. They are the ones that are the celebrities. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, ladies, thank you so much for coming by. Thank it's you such so amazing. Much for I mean, we're so proud to have young representation. These are our future, by the way. Yes. So, we wish nothing but the best for you. Yep. So, what's the name of your design? Um, uh, this one? Yeah, your yeah. Like, your late name. Um, this one is Eternal Splendor. Eternal, Eternal Splendor. Splendor. Okay. And yours? What's your uh, name? Cultural Charm. Cultural, cultural Charm. Charm. I love it. I love it. It's awesome. There you go, yes. guys. Do you have a Instagram for your designs or anything? I uh, guess. What are your accounts the, for the for the, um, for the quote is uh, michelleyu.com. Michelle you can check it out online if you guys want to find out more about their designs and all the great things that they're doing. All right, thank you so much for coming, Michelle and Catherine. Great thank you so much. And we'll take another break. When we return, we will have more interesting stories just for you to see. You're very glittery, I like that. I, I know, right? <laughs> awesome. you like this.